in this video I want to talk about the difference between a nucleotide and a nucleoside something that some people get confused about and hopefully I'll clear things up just now so a nucleotide has three components those three components are a pentose sugar a nitrogenous base and a phosphate group that's it that's the basic idea the pentose sugar can either be ribose or deoxyribose the nitrogenous base is either a purine or a pyrimidine which we'll talk about in a later video in the phosphate groups we can have one to three so the phosphate group or groups right we can have one two or three phosphates so how does that look so that looks like this so here we have a nitrogenous base attached to a pentose sugar a five which is a five carbon sugar so this here is a pentose sugar with the five carbons one prime two prime three prime four prime and five prime this can be ribose or deoxyribose like I just mentioned so what determines that is the two prime OH here uh, a two prime OH would be uh, a ribose right or if it was just a hydrogen instead of an OH group then we would have in that case a deoxyribose that's something we covered earlier when we covered carbohydrates so um, basically what goes on in that two prime carbon determines whether it's a ribose or deoxyribose the third thing of course is the phosphate group I've only drawn one here but there can be up to three like I mentioned Maybe one two or three um, essentially what this is uh, this is the, the nucleotide now what is a nucleoside in comparison it's pretty similar it actually has a pentose sugar which of course again can be oops can be ribose or deoxyribose it can have a nitrogenous base which again can be a purine or a pyrimidine but there's no phosphate group that's basically the difference we still have a nitrogenous base here attached to the one prime carbon of the pentose sugar we still have of course the pentose sugar again can be ribose or deoxyribose but at the five prime end we no longer have a phosphate we just have a CH2OH just as though uh, the sugar has not been affected there at the five prime carbon that's essentially the difference between a nucleoside and a nucleotide what you'll also notice is that sometimes nucleotides are called nucleoside phosphates which is basically because they're nucleosides with phosphate groups right so that's basically it a simple way to remember is that nucleotide has the letter T in it T for three components T three uh, and nucleoside has just one component less so you subtract one component and you're left with a nucleoside that's basically it I hope that was helpful one last thing I am a tutor if you live in Southern California feel free to contact me via email at moofuniversity at gmail.com see the description below for more details thanks for watching